had my first customer yesterday who said he wanted to get a refund on 150 packets of 32 pack toilet paper and 150 units of one litre sanitizer. I told him that. That is the sort of person that is causing the problem. If you haven't been into the supermarket for the last month or so, you might not know there's limits on items around the store at this present time. Product limits include toilet paper, tissue, paper towel, hand sanitizer, detergent and many other products depending on their availability from the manufacturer. Why you ask? Well it's pretty plain and simple. If everyone had just bought the things that they had needed for their immediate short term, we would be fine. But the reality is we've had so many people hoarding products and buying products that they're never going to use. I'd almost say that they might not ever eat in their lifetime because we have had some staggering statistics. We've sold eight months of toilet paper in four weeks. We've sold a year's supply of flour in nine days and we're all in the same boat. It's not one supermarket that's missing out, it's every single one. And you want to ask why there's a limit. Well, the limit is so we can try and share whatever product we get in for whatever particular time it comes in that everyone that comes in in our shopping experience can get something. So people go, well, why you haven't you got it? Like everyone's in the same boat. The year of toilet paper, the scenes that everyone has seen with the toilet paper has been absolutely ridiculous. And I had my first customer yesterday who said he wanted to get a refund on 150 packets of 32 pack toilet paper and 150 units of one litre sanitizer. I told him that. That is the sort of person that is causing the problem in the whole country. So let's have a look at some other things that caused some panic buying. In 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis caused panic buying of canned foods. In 1972, the oil crisis ensured customers panic bought fuel. I'd like to have seen that one. In 1985, people panic bought Coca-Cola after Pepsi launched their so-called new Coke. And in the year 2000, the millennium bug caused panic across supermarkets with people panicking, thinking that the whole world was going to stop after 11.59. But what happened after 11.59?